Who are those two mysterious hooded figures fighting Wilhelm and Ricardo right now? I think the very obvious answer for Wilhelm is obviously Teresa. If you've been watching the cut content, Divine Protection of the Grim Reaper, it just makes sense. But the other two, I was too tunnel visioned into thinking who, you know, Teresa could be to forget the cut content that we read about what happened in Valakia and how this relates to the eight armed guy. There was this Meteor or Meteor that kind of increased the clout of another witch that was not the Witch of Envy in the past. Witch's cult got very mad, sent regulars to destroy them, and in the process of doing that, I believe they fought a dude named Kurgan, who is like a legendary warrior there with like eight arms, and he was defeated. And I think that it could very be possible that he is the other dude that we're fighting right now. There's this pattern of behavior of people quote unquote dying, then like respawning at the cult. Fortuna, maybe serious, right? Betrug is not really the same. It could be Teresa von Austria stuff. How did Teresa not even fucking die, right? I thought that Reinhardt killed. I'm gonna just always just slap a Pandora sticker whenever things don't make sense, and hopefully things will make a little bit more sense. There's some crazier stuff going on with Gluttony, Roy Alford. I'll talk about that when we get to that in the reaction. Let's begin today's episode. Does she know what that means? What if I say no? What a crazy thing to say. Wow, look at that! He owns up to his own mistakes! What a humble person! Let me ask one more time. Yeah, there's so many shitty people around the world. I'm not like them, but uh... Are you still a virgin? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> I said that last episode, I'm like, did she even know she got told by Anne Rose that if you kiss, you make a baby? But she got corrected on that. Of course she doesn't know what a fucking virgin is. It's even better, actually. To Regulus? This is even better. Because what's better than a pure maiden who is a virgin? An even purer maiden who is so innocent and naive and ignorant of the cruelties and the immoralities of society that she doesn't even know what a fucking virgin is. This is like the purest fucking girl <laughs> Regulus has ever found. Bruh. How would you know that? The only way you could do that is by checking. You, 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 were you playing gynecologist? What are you doing, huh? How do you? How, how, how are you so sure that the hymen has not been broken in? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> A virgin soul. So let's think about this. The term of virgin soul. Okay. We know that souls can go from one vessel to another. Let's take Betrugus for example. Betrugus, in his green-haired body, fucked Fortuna just for fun. He's no longer a virgin. But if he took his soul out and went to a different body who was a virgin, even though that body would be a virgin, the soul wouldn't be. <laughs> you, you, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> A crazy conversation. Oh shit, here we go. Archbishop. This is a totally different intro than he usually does. Probably the one time that an Archbishop has introduced himself not as the standard, hello, my name is this. I am the Archbishop of Sin that represents this. He's just saying I'm a fucking husband now. His mates? Yo, his other wives, right? Is this a wife? <laughs> they're 184! <laughs> they're fucking- they're employees, bro! They have a fucking bed! They have an ID! They have a fucking barcode! He ain't fucking remember- he, I'm actually surprised that he remembers her names though. I'm sorry, numbers. That's actually pretty hard! Hmm. And the other thing is the significance of number 79. Because remember, it's not that Regulus is- This is his 79th wife. No, he skipped that number. He made that slot so special just for Amelia. Why? 
I don't know, but seven, nine, if you think about it, seven deadly sins, you add two becomes nine, maybe melancholy and vanity that we know of the origin sins beyond that, seven, nine, beyond that, what is that? It's a prime number as well. What is the significance of 79, I wonder? Oh, it was for Fortuna? Is, is that shit cut Kanta? It was for fucking Fortuna? He did show up thirsting for her, huh? And it's even funnier if you think about it. It's even funnier that it would be for Fortuna because if we assume that Fortuna currently is serious and the fact that they were like kind of bantering and fighting each other. I mean, right now, I, even if it was Fortuna because of her disfigured face, there's no way Regulus would accept her, right? Because the only thing he cares about is how good you look. Girl, you stop smiling just like I told you. I feel so bad. Please, someone save her. Please, someone save this girl. But I guarantee you, she's been so brainwashed that, like, she would sacrifice herself as, like, a meat shield for Regulus. Not that Regulus would ever even need that kind of meat shield because of his power. Thank you, uh, Mr. Just East, for that tier one, man. I appreciate that. I'm not gonna sniff that hair. You know what the funniest thing about people like Regulus is? People like this exist in real life where like they're the most like insecure weak men where they want all the qualities of like a fucking porn star except the lack of the virginity. Straight up. They're like, my woman gonna have big ass googly moogly ass and titties, the best hot face ever, and she gonna be a fucking sex demon. She gonna be fucking good in bed, but... She's a virgin. It's like they have this twisted ideal of like the objectification of like the lust and like, you know, um, these different things could be, but they still expect the, like that girl to be like pure. It's like, what? What's 84? <laughs> what 84? <laughs> you are now, I'm sorry. In his mind, <laughs> that's it. Bruh, is there no wedding ceremony? There's, there's no official, like, I don't know, it'd be cool if there was, like, a, a wedding and, like, just before, like, does anyone have any uh, uh, objections to this or whatever, and the Subaru would show up and break the fucking crash the wedding. <laughs> Evil king in a book. <laughs> little king. I don't know of the Little King book, but I'm going to imagine that this is a very small person who is so insecure of his hype that needs to always compensate and is so evil and cruel, man. Subaru. I wonder, based on that dialogue, if 184... It doesn't feel like 184 is completely gone, right? Like, I feel like 184, if she was truly completely brainwashed, then she would be like a... What's it called? More like glazing regulus, no matter what. But based on the conversation, it sounds like she's kind of low-key shitting. Uh, Little King star stuff? Sure, there's even more lore constellation star stuff. Sure, why not? Subaru. All right. Oh, now remember, remember, what's the most important thing? Also, this K, this one. Roy has finger claws. Lai has the wrist with the three daggers sticking out like Wolverine claws. When you meet Gluttony, you should never tell them your name. Why is that? I was thinking because if you tell them name, like how Rem introduced herself and Krush didn't, name gets eaten, but Krush's didn't. And another peculiar thing about that scene is that Rem fight was actually anime only, meaning that didn't really happen in the source material, so I don't know how much that theory, you know, carries forward. But on building off of that logic, right? What if this one, because it's not lie, has a different authority? Power, but how could that make sense, right? Another crazy thing is the constellations. Roy Alfred, right? Lai Batenkaitos. Batenkaitos, this is according to um, Nearly on Red. It was a fantastic channel if you can check it out. Batenkaitos constellation, whale, right? The whale powers, it's, it's, it's there, right? Roy Alfred, Hydra. Hydra, it's also, you know, fucking serpent, black serpent. So if you think about the gluttony thing and how Daphne created the three witch beasts, right? The implication now is that this one represents a snake. A lie represents the whale, and then the, there could be a third one. Now, there could be a fucking third one that represents the bunnies. And now if this, does, is he going to fucking have like poison venom attacks through the authority? Is he going to have the same authority as lie? Who knows? <laughs> Slipping. 3v1, man. 3v1 versus a little kid. 
Calm down, Lolly Master. Calm down. Honestly, that was fucking perfect. And the heat of the moment to say that kind of like breaks the, you know, seriousness. Yeah, also, yeah, we can't say the names too. Remember, you gotta go by the code names. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are we taunting? That taunt, man. Come on, chill out, though. Do it for Rim. Valkyrie, crush. <laughs> the voice acting from crush. <laughs> She's scared of heights. That Kia. That Kia, bro. Meteor. Capella. What are we gonna do against Capella? She's not speaking, though. So, the eyes are blue. So remember what I said, is Capella transforming into a dragon or is she possessing a dragon? Can we even assume that Capella had a humanoid form as a base or was she a dragon turning into humanoid form? This one is just making dragon noises. The eye color is not pink. It's clearly not Capella right now. Cruise the dragon slayer. And no regeneration either. Is this the same, like, dragon model, though? This is the same dragon model that we saw last episode, though, right? But clearly, Capella is not possessing it or transforming into it. No regeneration powers right now. Krush just fucking sold a dragon, man. Alright. I'm worried on where Capella is. Uh-oh. I'm scared. Don't open it. No, 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 no. I'm scared. Insects again! You can hear the insects! Uh, the insects were the sounds that we heard on the broadcast when Capella was going off. It couldn't really be heard as insects flying around, but there was like a twisting motion. When Garfield and Mimi went to the center square, there was a lot of bodies on the ground that was dead. By the time that we came back with Wilhelm and the gang, instead of those bodies being there, we saw like zergling, hatchling, larva, egg-like things, which I think is Capella's powers and probably the source of these insects. Gross. That's huge, bro. China flies. They're so big. I don't think we've been really killed. Wait, could Otto talk to these? Otto isn't here, though. Would he be able to reason, though? Just because you can talk doesn't mean you can reason them out. Like fucking the white whale. Otto could talk to the white whale. It's not gonna fucking happen. Like, this is easy. Dude. These flies are so gross. Get out. Kush. Fuck these kids hostages. Just kill them. Are you kidding me? You're- Who are you? Are you Capella in disguise? What the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah? I did. Fuck you. It's Capella. Wait, 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 wait. So, like, what does this really mean? It means that she can transform into other humans as well. Right? Like, like, she's shape-shifting, is she not? That was a disguise? Well, she's taking off the blue clothing. But the face changed, like, like, she can shape-shift, right? <laughs> no, it's stepping on Krush. <laughs> Lolly feet, but on top of that. <laughs> the little jiggle, bro. Oh. Okay, this is fucking sick. He wrapped this stone around with his whip and picked it up for an attack. That's pretty amazing, but listen to what he says afterwards. He says, this better hit. He doesn't even know his little hit. She, she took that hit. She's like, fuck, this better hit? Okay, I'll let you hit me. Why? To prove a point? Regen. Regen. She low-key looks like a pig right now with that nose, man. Oh. What was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tentacles? Big thing? Your dragon tail. You got some crazy powers, girl. She's got like partial transformation. Is that the dragon tail? So 
that theory is dead now. Subaru basically just asked, are you a dragon that turns into this humanoid form? And she just called us a retard, so I'm gonna basically say that theory has gone out the window. So she's not originally a dragon, but she can partially transform. We see a dragon tail, and we see the other dragon there that Crucius just defeated. She can shapeshift into not just beasts, but humans too. She can do partial transformations. Her authority... I wonder... I, I bet that she could transform into that dragon right now. And even though the other dragon, right, it's not possessing, but like, I, 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 something about like if she's made contact, if she's consumed something, like once she has like recognized like a different beast or a human, she can then transform too, is what I'm guessing at this point. Nope. I thought she kicked him in the dick there for a second. Oh, two-piece combo. Oh, the wings. This is not even close. I'm surprised Super is still alive, man. Yeah. There is the intro. Chan-sama. What fucking epic. The way she just knew. Bruh. Crush. Bro, that was sick. The whole animation there was fucking crazy. The fucking mouth coming out of her mouth. Sorry, the head coming out of the mouth. Oh. Uh, I think she ate them all. So no hostages left? Is that the implication they're all dead or she ate them all? So what about Garfield's mom's other kids and husband? Was, were they not for this tower? I'm not sure. Yeah, the, it, it, I think the flies basically are them. But like, wh what about the kids? Are the kids and the dad the flies right now? I'm kind of worried about the kids. In, in, in what? If we fucking reset and checkpoint again, maybe we can get here before the flies happen? So she can just transmute them, huh? She, 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 she just straight up... And, and I feel like the, the hatchling egg larva shit that we saw, right? And the corpses on the, on the town's core we saw, right? That definitely has to be part of that whole, like, insectification transformation shit. But this is fucking terrifying. Yeah, this is JJK Mahito. Pretty much. And, like, who do you think she turned into the dragon? That's another very good question, huh? Like, who, who was crucially fighting there? All those different beast-like things that she made them transform into, like... I don't know, bro. Could be the dad. Yeah. So I can reset with this information? You wouldn't? Oh. I don't want to hear a single person fucking say mistranslation and L subs over and over again. Your retard asses ain't fucking doing anything. Do you know what version I have right now? Someone else went and fixed the Crunchyroll mistakes. And that's the version I'm watching right now. And you're fucking sitting back. You're basically like watching the Olympics as a fat fuck like, and seeing like these dudes like do crazy shit and be like, oh, I could do better. <laughs> fucking loser. <laughs> fuck, I don't see your asses fucking translating. I don't see your asses fucking doing anything. Everyone love her. <laughs> I mean, you stepped on her titty when you say, look at her erotic bodies. Of course anyone would. And that's, a, that's not a bad thing. That's not a fucking sin. Having a little bit of lustful thoughts doesn't mean you're the fucking embodiment of lust. There's someone else, Amelia. <laughs> I 
she's really fucking speaking as Lust would speak, huh? Be grippers. Amelia. So, has she made contact with Amelia? I'm trying to figure out, like, how did she, like, transform? So, for example, um, in One Piece, there's a guy named Bone Clay, right? His condition is that he needs to touch someone's face once, then he can transform into them. I see Amelia's feet here. What is- is there no conditions? <laughs> the fuck? You've never interacted. Ah, I man. She is super might just fold right now. <laughs> oh, one second, one second. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Amelia's voice actor too now going off. Mm. Oh bullshit. Oh white knight cuck shit, bro. Nah, just say it. You like the cuz of her fucking titties. You like the cuz of her silver hair and elf status, bro? Is that what she wants us to fucking admit right now? Don't fucking talk. As if you like the girls for their personalities or what they're in deep inside. You care about the outward appearance. Well, Regulus does. And super to an extent, like I think that um he definitely folded for Amelia because he has a bias for her, of her outward appearance, and then she was good to him for sure, but like, come on. <sighs> Is she reading her minds right now? <sighs> the fuck? <laughs> Would have never imagined Amelia having this kind of fucking face, bro, but... Maybe, you know how like the um, authority of Wrath or Sirius is able to kind of like pick apart in the audience of like, you're mad, you're mad, and you're mad specifically because I'm wasting your time. Maybe there's something similar here with Capella and how she can feel the lust of other people. And by that, there's some sort of like mind reading and understanding what, you know, Subaru would like. That's why she transformed into her. Maybe that's like a, maybe that, instead of a condition, maybe it's something like that. <laughs> the true fucking, <laughs> will you love me if I'm a worm? Why are you asking me that? This is a fucking meme of like, you know, like girls saying like, are, will, would you still love me if I was reborn as a worm? Now, that question now gets brought into this example, huh? See if you can still love her when she turns into a fly. Insane fucking example. Like, this is such an unfair example to project onto us. Of course, we can't love. Like, like if, you've ter if you turned someone that I love into something that I can't even fucking recognize and does not even behave like the person I fell in love with, of course I can't love her because you fundamentally changed that. This is such a stupid argument to kind of project to say, like, see, my logic is correct. But there's a the thing. Every archbishop has their twisted, crazy sense of logic that they project onto others. And I think that Capella right now is just doing that. Now, let me give you an example. If you changed Amelia into a fly, but still was like Amelia's soul in there and acted just like Amelia. And if I was also turned into a fly... I think we're on equal ground. Then yes, I think we will be flying off to the sunset together, no pun intended. <laughs> Just please end us. You see this? Yep, Subaru is Al. Yep, Subaru is Al right now. Yep, this single detail, Subaru is Al. If you haven't seen the break time, go watch break time. But beyond that, Al no right arm. No, Al no left arm. Subaru no right leg. More fucking parallels of Al being super in a different timeline. Also, apparently, tarot card. Apparently, Al and Subaru's tarot cards are like the same. What the fuck is that all about? <laughs> <laughs> it's I, I I love her.
I, I, I actually love her so much, bro. Yeah. What? What you doing? Her blood. Her blood is purple. I'm gonna find out what sorts of ugly me scraps you guys will turn into. So she doesn't really know exactly what she's gonna transform them into, but it's random by this line. I'm gonna find out. She's her blood makes contact with Krush. Mui Tempen. <laughs> Maniacal episode, man. My blood has dragon blood in it, you know. Why? I don't know. When you make a covenant, it's there's a blood pact. Does the other Luganikan family royal members also have dragon blood in it? Like, I don't know how that works, but a covenant is very specific with a dragon where it's like a tie association with blood. Or maybe she just has dragon blood injected into it. Or Volcanica secretly fucked the Luganikan. You know what I'm saying? She, 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 you know, yeah, mom, fuck the dragon. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm fucking saying. <laughs> maybe, maybe we could um, do some mental gymnastics and say Emirada, the one 50 years ago. Remember the Emirada 50 years ago? Remember how people hated Emirada? They didn't even give her like a, like a, a ceremony for death to acknowledge it. Because she fucked the dragon. <laughs> and then the royal family was like, what the fuck? You did what? And then the secret kid is Capella right here. I, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm reaching. I'm doing all the fucking mental gymnastics I can. The, hamst the three hamsters in my fucking brain right now are running at fucking max speed right now on their fucking wheel. Trying to fucking <laughs> figure out how they could be. But dragon blood important. Mm. Go back, go back, go back. Dragon blood in it. If you succumb to its curse, the outcome will be wild. There's a curse with the dragon blood. And another very peculiar thing about how Krush is the one receiving the dragon blood right now with the curse is in season two, the trial three, the future despair that's yet to come or something, there's a line by Krush that says like, I will overcome the curse or something, right? And I was thinking back then, how does that make sense? Like, does Krush have a curse later on? Does she always have a curse? I was always trying to figure out like, well, you know, a dragon's blood now has been mentioned. You know how uh, Krush always so wants to get rid of the dragon and, you know, it, no more the covenant for the people, the people. I was always wondering, does Krush already have a curse? Is this the specific curse that's going to happen? I'm sure we're going to reset and everything's going to be fine. But keep in mind that Krush like curse stuff. Like there's something going on there. <laughs> oh, us too? What are we transforming to? What are we turning into? This is low-key exciting experiment. The dragon's up. Why? Wait, did Krush just turn into- No, 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 that was the other dragon that was down right now, right? This is not Krush. No, 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 this is the attacks that Krush landed. Oh, you fucking trolls. Let it be known that White Fox cut out the dragon flame attacks last episode because it's too hard to animate and they just cut this fire out right here, right here too. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But I'm totally fine because what they're doing with Capella, the Capella animations are fucking cracked. <laughs> The champ. <laughs> There's the breath attack. That's a pretty clever way of, you know, min maxing the breath attack, huh? Uh oh. Did we die? What happened? Oh. Pristella 10. Kritaka. What's going on, man? Uh-oh. And remember, if we don't get them, if they get interrogated, they can figure out where T-Phone's remains are gonna be. Alright. Evacuate where? She really cares about him, huh? Yeah. Me too. I thought she would say something just pure business and professionalism, but she's like emotionally involved with Kiritaka. Yeah. Or this is all just an act. It's straight up just all an act. I still think that she knew ahead of time that the Archbishops are going to attack. She knew about it and called the other candidates over intentionally. Just a little mom and pop shop. Oh, 
Oh shit, serious. Hey. The hearts are united. She knew immediately. How does she know? How does Anastasia know immediately? What the fuck? Hey. She's cooked. It's over. Ah, shit. Who's gonna save them, man? Priscilla. Maybe someone. I don't know. Who, who's gonna show up right now? Huh? TV. TV had that but they're still injured, man. Because of the trisection. Maybe he's looking rough. A forbidden method. The numbing. The numbing of the pain. Mimi. Live for Mimi. She got a plan. Good to see you. Triplets. Two minutes. More Kiritaka people. <laughs> you gonna fucking die. I don't have faith in any one of you fucking people. You, what the fuck you doing this shit for? You should be doing fucking this. What a cook. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. These are my bodyguards. We're fucking cooked, man. Anastasia. <laughs> We're so done. Liliana. Liliana right now is most likely with Priscilla, I'm gonna guess. Yeah, everyone's sacrificing themselves for Anastasia. Heinkel! <laughs> you motherfuckers! And remember, Reinhardt ain't ever beaten the fucking lollicon allegations because the apple doesn't fall too far from the fucking tree. He learned it from his dad, bro. Look at this shit. I can fucking kidnapping a lolly. You're just gonna stare all day? <laughs> a lot of people are glazing Heinkel. Heinkel, I can definitely acknowledge that he is very, very competent and strong, right? He doesn't have Von Austria, but he is still the vice captain. Be it title only, but he is pretty strong, I've heard. But I still don't believe that Felt is being held hostage due to the danger. She got the fucking divine protection of the wind, bro. I believe that she is literally making Reinhardt come to his own decision. Yep. He wants to make sure that Reinhardt, you can come to your own fucking decision and like solve your own fucking problems, right? Reinhardt is too busy, you know, being docile and then just collared, leashed by Heinkel. Maybe felt right now want some development for Reinhardt. I'm also underage. Hmm? Something's collapsing. Uh oh, bugs, bugs, bugs. Zota. Zota. Otto. Otto? Otto. Last time we saw these bugs, Otto, right? I don't know, unless this is Capella's bugs. Didn't Otto use, you know, these Zota bugs a lot, long, long time ago? Zota. What, remember? This, 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 uh, fucking, remember Ultra Flashback? The little brother was like, oh, My brother can talk to bugs! Liar. Prove it. And Ultra was like, rah, 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 rah. And then, like, fucking, have you seen Prince of Egypt? Where, like, the swarm of locusts, like, take over? <laughs> and then the fucking bugs, like, destroy that fucking town. Remember that shit? Is that helping us? <laughs> Yeah. Got him. Got his ass. Thank you, bugs. Clutch bugs. Yes. <laughs> I'd love to. <laughs> Yo, is uh, Schult around? That fucking pink haired Shota guy? Yo, carry him out. This is the fucking time. Second time. So, no, you know, Heinkel's gone fucking unconscious this season. Bottle to the head. Easy. <laughs> Peak. How the fuck did he get, get away from live, bro? I thought that Otto was like fucked. Now, he didn't give his name away. That's why his name probably wasn't eaten away. That was my assumption last episode. But like, he good. Unless this is not Otto. But I don't know. He's pretty. Is this, is this Pandora? <laughs> is this Pandora? <laughs> this is getting weird. <laughs> How the fuck did he do that? 
yes. Also, the unknown variable that was not accounted for in the fucking, you know, the grammar of Roswell and Echidna's Tomb of Wisdom. Like, yo, this shit's fucking Pandora. The, the, he ain't paying the fucking allegations. Huh. Friend, yeah. Hey. Got the money. Yeah, what the fuck? You should pay me. <laughs> How did he get away? Yeah, me too, man. Oh, fuck you, live that. White dragons. White dragon scales. Um, they are the mercenary guards of Kiritakas? White dragon scales. Is that, is that, is that, is that the guards? It is the guards. So they all fucking die for Oto instead. <laughs> Damn! Yeah, go out and fucking save the world, bro. Please, Reinhardt, deliver us to paradise. Save everybody like a hero you are. She gonna be reckless. Yes, please. Please, but like, I swear to God, if Tape fucking... If Tape actually nerfs Reinhardt again and figures out a situation to like, remove him from the battle, I'm gonna be so fucking mad. Like, that's his specialty. Introduce OP motherfuckers and create bullshit reasons that's lore accurate to, like, remove them. Ah, oh, please, please. Drag Heinkel. Make Otto carry. Who the hell's that? Oh, no fucking way. It's dumb and dumbest. No fucking way! And, and they're felt camp. They're felt camp. They've literally been trained by Reinhardt, bro. Yo. My minions. My minions, bro. Uh-oh. Yeah, the mushroom hair kid, the store kid is a sex demon, by the way. Is this their first time that we're gonna die by drowning? I've been waiting for a moment like that. Holy shit, here we go. Damn! There's no way that this fire is the reason that they just they decided to flood the fucking city, right? There's no way, right? He's out again. Oh shit, Krush is super holding. I really wonder. Which person turned into a dragon, right? Because it's seemingly like like someone actually turned into this. Is it Garfield's dad? I don't know. I saw... Is it literally running away? He's helping. The dragon is helping. The breath attack, getting out, work. It's actually helping us, right? I'm not sure if it's like. Involuntary. I, I, maybe it might be indirectly helping us. Maybe the dragon just wants to get the fuck out after getting injured so much. But right now, it's looking like the dragon is actually helping. That reach. What the fuck? Oh, we got dropped. There it is. We're gonna we're gonna die by drowning now. We're gonna die by drowning now. We got it, right? I I'm waiting. Tape definitely has been just thirsting to create a scenario where Super can die by drowning, right? There's gotta be. Uh... All right. Yeah, and if we really think about it, if we're gonna go with like the dragon as a good person theory, Cruz had a one-sided battle with the dragon to the point that called her a dragon slayer. It felt a little bit too easy, so I'm pretty sure like the dragon was intentionally doing that shit. All right, let's check out the postcard scene. Let's check it out. Only the middle got drowned. I guess Amelia's in a pretty high place. Our husband. Capella. Yo. Chan Sama. Mm -hmm. Subaru. Three. Underground shelter? Is Omega around? What do you mean Tomb of Wisdom that's been brought into the city? What the fuck are you talking about? The Tomb of Wisdom is the authority of greed. 
And then there's two copies that's pretty fucking good that's been given to Go uh, Betty and, and, and Roswell. They're known as Grimars. And everything else is a defect gospel. When you say Tomb of Wisdom, is Omega here? Is Omega here? I don't know. Is it a sub thing? I don't fucking know. There's no way. When you, because okay, remember, Tomb of Wisdom means there's only one thing. It's the actual authority of greed. Then there's two copies. One is burnt. And the other also kind of got burnt, I guess, in the hidden library, right? There should be nothing unless they're alluding, or, or, or maybe she's speaking of something else. I don't know. Maybe it could be just Subaru's fucking gospel that he has in his back pocket. Maybe she would consider it a tomb of wisdom. Who knows? But there is no copies. The copies are gone. The, the Roswell doesn't have it. Biko don't have it. They're gone. It's just gospels now and Echidna's authority of greed. Biko? You want Biko? Artificial spear? The fuck? Okay. Are we actually having a wedding? Are we actually gonna have a wedding? Is there gonna be opportunity for like a wedding crash moment, man? I don't know. Um, Omega, it could Omega be considered an artificial spirit? Does it? Because, like, my crackpot tinfoil theory is, like, what if Omega is just, like, watching this at, like, a high distance through, like, a telescope and chilling with all the witches and having fun right now? But, like, when you say Tomb of Wisdom, Artificial Spirit, Tomb of Wisdom is very sus. Artificial Spirit, intuitively, it's just Biko, but you could assume that it could be Ryuzu's host body that's having Echidna's soul in there. I don't fucking know. Puck is not... Puck was been created by Biko. Who, you know, no, Puck got created by Echidna. Is Puck also an artificial just like uh, Biko? If so, Puck is stuck. We need like a mana crystal thing. Kiritaka would come in really clutch right now, but everyone's kind of, you know, all separated. So, Biko Puck and Wildcard Omega, the Tomb of Wisdom, Wildcard Omega, but maybe just Subaru's Gospel. I don't know why she would say Tomb of Wisdom. It entered here. We know that. Well, maybe it's because Biko showed up and. Capella somehow knows if it is Biko, then she also somehow knew that Biko also held the copies of the Tomb of Wisdom, right? Without really understanding it's been burnt, is my guess at the moment. Okay. Wedding crash. Wedding crash. <laughs> Amelia, come on! You gotta save yourself, girl. I don't want you to be the damsel in distress. That is today's episode of Reason. God damn, Capella went. Capella animations were so fucking peak. My favorite moment is probably when like something Orochimaru-esque was happening. Like heads coming out of the mouth, different faces forming over and over. It's so cool. My guess on how she's able to do this, I don't know. I, I'm like, it's very peculiar how she turned into Amelia and maybe she was even like reading Subaru's heart of the lust thing. Kind of serious, kind of how like Sirius is also able to feel the wrath of other people, right? That's my guess. Crucial's pretty sick and quote unquote slayed a dragon. But the dragon wasn't really fighting back because the dragon's a good guy. And maybe if we're able to go back listen, what's Garfield's dad's uh what what what's um what's uh Garfield's uh what's uh, Garfield's mom's new baby daddy? Is it if his eye color is blue, that's it. Dude, someone did a homework right now? If Garfield's baby uh Gar Garrett guy, if, if if his eye color is also blue, fuck it. <laughs> it's him right now. I mean he's seemingly helping out too. Interesting. Um Capella's blood can like land on other people and the curse of the dragon blood will like transmute them into different beasts doesn't look like she really knew what they were going to turn into because she said like i'm excited to see what you're going to turn into her bullshit logic about if emilia was a fly could you still love her is completely unfair but every archbishop has their diluted extreme sense of logic you know, so it, it does make a lot of sense. Anastasia right now is getting bailed out by a lot of people, a lot of people sacrificing. Reinhardt is finally unbenched and ready to go. Otto is kind of very suspicious. This scene where he just showed up out of the fucking shadows. Otto being Pandora, I am so fucking down. Uh, what else is there? That's pretty much it. I thought that Subaru might just die with his, you know, him drowning right now. And it, it, maybe it is, but the fact that we're still continuing right now and capella is making three additional orders what are they um she wants the tomb of wisdom that's apparently entered the city i don't know how she would have ever anticipated that but um 
Maybe she's also... Like, like it, it seems like people are kind of have, like... Like, it, it feels like Capella Loki is a light novel reader. They have, like, these future sight abilities. And if we assume that they have some sort of future sight abilities, right? Maybe the gospel told them, like, through Pandora or some shit, that Biku would arrive with the Tomb of Wisdom copy. Then for sure, I could assume that Biko is that person that she's talking about. But if that's not the case, it could be Puck. And then the 0.000001% chance wildcard theory is that she's calling for Omega. But that wouldn't make any sense because the anime hasn't even come close to fucking, you know, hinting at Omega. And I really doubt that. But phenomenal episode. That's it for me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.